In this problem, we have to find the intervals on which the function is increasing and decreasing. So to do that, the first step is to take the derivative and find the critical numbers. So let's go ahead and go through it. So g prime of x is equal to, let's see, so using the power rule, the derivative of x squared is 2x, and the derivative here will be negative 2. And the derivative of 80 is 0, so this is the derivative of little g. It's not undefined anywhere, so now we just set it equal to 0, right? Remember, critical numbers are numbers in the domain where the derivative is undefined or 0, so it's not undefined, so now we just set it equal to 0. All right, we can add 2 to both sides. So we have 2x equals 2, and then divide by 2, divide by 2, so we have x equals 1. And that is our critical number. There's our CN, critical number. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to draw a picture, a little number line here. And on this picture, uh, we plot all critical numbers. So here's 1. And then we pick test points. So you can pick any number you like uh, that's smaller than 1. So how about, how about 0? And you plug it into the derivative. So plugging it in, we'll get 2 times 0 minus 2. So that's negative 2. And so because it's negative, the function is decreasing. So I like to put a little arrow here. So again, just pick any number over here and plug it into your first derivative. And if it's negative, the function is decreasing. All right, now let's pick any number that's bigger than 1. So any number over here. How about uh, 2? So plugging 2 into the first derivative, this is 2 times 2 minus 2. This is 4 minus 2, which is 2, and that is positive. So now that means it's increasing. So over here I put a little arrow like this, which means it's increasing. So from negative infinity all the way to 1, it's decreasing. So decreasing from negative infinity to 1, oops, negative infinity <laughs> negative infinity to 1, there we go, and then increasing from 1 to infinity. And you get that from the picture, right? So let me use a different color. So over here, it's decreasing, and then over here, it's increasing. Notice the behavior. It gets smaller, 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 and then it starts to get bigger. That means you have what's called a relative, relative minimum at 1. Uh, but the question did not ask for that. It just wanted the increasing and decreasing. That's it.